The culture of Turkey combines a heavily diverse and heterogeneous set of elements that have been derived from the Greek, Roman, Byzantine, Ottoman, European, Middle Eastern and Central Asian traditions. Turkey's former status as a multi-ethnic empire which, de facto until the loss of Libya to the Kingdom of Italy in 1912, and de jure until the official loss of Egypt and Sudan to the British Empire in 1914 as a consequence of the Ottoman government's decision to join the First World War on the side of the Central Powers, spanned three continents, Europe, Asia and Africa. The present-day Republic of Turkey, which succeeded the Ottoman state in 1923, is still a transcontinental country that spans Europe and Asia. The nation was modernized primarily by Mustafa Kemal Atatürk starting from 1923, as he transformed a religion-driven former Ottoman Empire into a modern nation-state with a strong separation of state and religion, a corresponding increase in the methods of artistic expression arose. During the first years of the Republic, the government invested a large amount of resources into fine arts such as paintings, sculpture and architecture. This was done as both a process of modernization and of creating a cultural identity. Because of the different historical factors defining the Turkish identity, the culture of Turkey combines clear efforts to be modern and western, with a desire to maintain traditional religious and historical values. Turkish culture has undergone profound changes over the last century. Today, Turkey may be the only country that contains every extreme of Eastern and Western culture, along with many compromises and fusions between the two. The Ottoman system was a multi-ethnic state that enabled people within it not to mix with each other and thereby retain separate ethnic and religious identities within the empire, albeit with a dominant Turkish and Southern European ruling class. Upon the fall of the empire after World War I the Turkish Republic adapted a unitary approach which forced all the different cultures within its borders to mix with each other with the aim of producing Turkish national and cultural identity. This mixing, instead of producing cultural homogenization, instead resulted in many shades of grey as the traditional Muslim cultures of Anatolia collided with, or had imposed upon them, the cosmopolitan modernity of Istanbul and the wider West. Turkish literature is the collection of written and oral texts composed in the Turkish language, either in its Ottoman form or in less exclusively literary forms, such as that spoken in the Republic of Turkey today. Traditional examples for Turkish folk literature include the stories of Karagats and Hasevat, Kalaglan, in Silisavas and Nasreddin Hoka, as well as the works of folk poets such as Yunus Emre and Ask Wiesel. The Book of Didi Korkut and the Epic of Korgu have been the main elements of the Turkish epic tradition in Anatolia for several centuries. The two primary streams of Ottoman literature were poetry and prose. Of the two, the Ottoman divan poetry, a highly ritualized and symbolic art form, was the dominant stream. The vast majority of divan poetry was lyric in nature, either gazels or kassids. There were, however, other common genres most particularly the Mesnevi, a kind of verse romance and thus a variety of narrative poetry. The tradition of Ottoman prose was exclusively non-fictional in nature, as the fiction tradition was limited to narrative poetry. The Tanzimat reforms of 1839 to 1876 brought changes to the language of Ottoman written literature, and introduced previously unknown Western genres primarily the novel and the short story. Many of the writers in the Tanzimat period wrote in several different genres simultaneously, for instance, the poet Namk Kemal also wrote the important 1876 novel Intiba, Awakening, while the journalist Sinazi is noted for writing, in 1860, the first modern Turkish play, the one-act comedy Sarah Vlun Messi. The Poet's Marriage Most of the roots of modern Turkish literature were formed between the years 1896 and 1923. Broadly, there were three primary literary movements during this period. The Adbiyatsidide, New Literature, Movement, the Fekriyat, Dawn of the Future, Movement, and the Mili Adbiyat, National Literature, Movement. The Adbiyatsidide, New Literature movement began with the founding in 1891 of the magazine Serva Typhoonan, Scientific Wealth, which was largely devoted to progress, both intellectual and scientific, along the Western model. Accordingly, the magazine's literary ventures, 
under the direction of the poet Tevfik Fikret, were geared towards creating a Western-style high art in Turkey. Poetry is the most dominant form of literature in modern Turkey. The folk poetry as indicated above, was strongly influenced by the Islamic Sunni and Shia traditions. Furthermore, as partly evidenced by the prevalence of the still existent task, Ozan tradition, the dominant element in Turkish folk poetry has always been song. The development of folk poetry in Turkish, which began to emerge in the 13th century with such important writers as Yunus Emre, Sultan Vild, and Sayyad Hamza, was given a great boost when, on 13 May 1277, Karamanoglu Mehmet Bey declared Turkish the official state language of Anatolia's powerful Karamanid state. Subsequently, many of the tradition's greatest poets would continue to emerge from this region. There are, broadly speaking, two traditions of Turkish folk poetries, the Ask, Ozan tradition, which, although much influenced by religion, as mentioned above, was for the most part a secular tradition. The explicitly religious tradition, which emerged from the gathering places, texts, of the Sufi religious orders and Shia groups. Much of the poetry and song of the Ask, Ozan tradition, being almost exclusively oral until the 19th century, remains anonymous. There are, however, a few well-known Asks from before that time whose names have survived together with their works. The aforementioned Koraglu, 16th century, Karakaglan, 1606 question mark 1689, who may be the best known of the pre-19th century asks, Dardalaglu, 1785 question mark 1868, who was one of the last of the great tasks before the tradition began to dwindle somewhat in the late 19th century and several others. The Asks were essentially minstrels who travelled through Anatolia performing their songs on the Bag Lama, a mandolin-like instrument whose paired strings are considered to have a symbolic religious significance in Alevi, Bektashi culture. Despite the decline of the Ask, Ozan tradition in the 19th century, it experienced a significant revival in the 20th century thanks to such outstanding figures as Ask Vesel Satraglu. 1894-1973, Ask Mazuni Serif, 1938-2002, Nasser Turtas, 1938-2012, and many others. Ottoman Divan poetry was a highly ritualized and symbolic art form. From the Persian poetry that largely inspired it, it inherited a wealth of symbols whose meanings and interrelationships, both of similitude, Mora Atina's ear, Tenasub, and opposition were more or less prescribed. Examples of prevalent symbols that, to some extent, oppose one another include, among others, the nightingale, bulbule, the rose, gull, the world, sehern, alem, the rose garden, gulistan, gulson, the ascetic, zahid, the dervish, dervis. In the early years of the Republic of Turkey, there were a number of poetic trends. Authors such as Ahmed Hassam and Yehya Kemal 1884 to 1958, continued to write important formal verse whose language was, to a great extent, a continuation of the late Ottoman tradition. By far the majority of the poetry of the time, however, was in the tradition of the folk-inspired syllabist movement, Psihisasila which had emerged from the national literature movement and which tended to express patriotic themes couched in the syllabic meter associated with Turkish folk poetry. The first radical step away from this trend was taken by Nazm Hikmetran, who, during his time as a student in the Soviet Union from 1921 to 1924, was exposed to the modernist poetry of Vladimir Mayakovsky and others which inspired him to start writing verse in a less formal style. Another revolution in Turkish poetry came about in 1941 with the publication of a small volume of verse preceded by an essay and entitled Garip, Strange. The authors were Orhan Vili Kank, 1914-1950, Malaya Sevdandi, 1915-2002, and Okte Rafat. 1914 to 1988 explicitly opposing themselves to everything that had gone in poetry before they sought instead to create a popular art to explore the people's tastes to determine them and to make them reign supreme over art to this end 
and inspired in part by contemporary French poets like Jacques Prévert, they employed not only a variant of the free verse introduced by Nazm Hikmet, but also highly colloquial language, and wrote primarily about mundane daily subjects and the ordinary man on the street. The reaction was immediate and polarized. Most of the academic establishment and older poets vilified them, while much of the Turkish population embraced them wholeheartedly. Just as the Garip movement was a reaction against earlier poetry, so, in the 1950s and afterwards, was there a reaction against the Garip movement. The poets of this movement, soon known as I Can See Yeni, Second New, opposed themselves to the social aspects prevalent in the poetry of Nazm Hikmet and the Garip poets and instead, partly inspired by the disruption of language in such Western movements as Dada and Surrealism, sought to create a more abstract poetry through the use of jarring and unexpected language, complex images, and the association of ideas. To some extent, the movement can be seen as bearing some of the characteristics of postmodern literature. The best-known poets writing in the second new vein were Turgid Uyar, 1927-1985, Edip Kantseva, 1928-1986, Seymour Shoria, 1931-1990, Esohan, 1931-2002, and Ilan Burke, 1918. Outside of the Garib and Second New Movements also, a number of significant poets have flourished, such as Fazl Husnu Dardlika, 1914, who wrote poems dealing with fundamental concepts like life death, God, time, and the cosmos, Bayes at Nukatagil, 1916-1979, whose somewhat allegorical poems explore the significance of middle-class daily life, Canucal, 1926-1999, who, in addition to his own highly colloquial and varied poetry, was also a translator into Turkish of a variety of world literature, and Dismir Tozil, 1944 whose early poetry was highly leftist but whose poetry since the 1970s has shown a strong mystical and even Islamist influence. The style of the current novelists can be traced back to the Young Pens, Gens Kaelmler, journal in the Ottoman period. Young Pens was published in Salonik under Roma Sifen, Ziagoklop and Ali Kanipiondam. They covered the social and political concepts of their time with the nationalistic perspective. They were the core of a movement which became known as the national literature. With the declaration of the Turkish Republic in 1923, Turkish literature became interested in folkloric styles. This was also the first time since the 19th century that Turkish literature was escaping from Western influence and began to mix Western forms with other forms. During the 1930s, Yakup Kadri Karasmanoglu and Vedat Nedim Tor published Kadro, which was revolutionary in its view of life. Stylistically, the early prose of the Republic of Turkey was essentially a continuation of the national literature movement, with realism and naturalism predominating. This trend culminated in the 1932 novel Yuban, The Wilds, by Yakup Kadri Karasmanoglu. This novel can be seen as the precursor to two trends that would soon develop, social realism and the village novel, Koi Roman. The social realist movement was led by the short story writer Sait Faker Basyank. The major writers of the village novel tradition were Kemal Tahir, Orhan Kemal, and Yaz R. Kemal, in a very different tradition, but evincing a similar strong political viewpoint, was the satirical short story writer Aziz Nezin. Other important novelists of this period were Ahmet Hamdi Tampana and Ogazate, Orhan Pamuk. Winner of the 2006 Nobel Prize in Literature, is among the innovative novelists, whose works show the influence of postmodernism and magic realism. Important poets of the Republic of Turkey period include Ahmet Hassan, Yair Kemal Bidl, and Nazm Hikmet, who introduced the free verse style. Orhan Vili Kank, Malaya Sevdande, and Dokte Rafat led the Garip movement, while Turgid Uyar. Edip Kantseva and Seymour Shoria led the I Can See Any movement. Outside of the Garip and I Can See Any movements, a number of other significant poets such as Fazl Husnu Dardlika, Bayset Nukatagil and Kan Yukel also flourished. Orhan Pamuk is a leading Turkish novelist of postmodern literature, 
His works have been translated into more than 20 languages. He is the recipient of major Turkish and international literary awards, such as the 2006 Nobel Prize in Literature. With the establishment of the Ottoman Empire, the years 1300 to 1453 constitute the early or first Ottoman period in architecture, when Ottoman art was in search of new ideas. This period witnessed three types of mosques, tiered single-domed and sublime-angled mosques. The Hakazbek Mosque, 1333, in Iznik, the first important center of Ottoman art, is the first example of an Ottoman single-domed mosque. Bursa period, 1326-1437. The domed architectural style evolved from Bursa and E. Turn. The Alukami, Holy Mosque, in Bursa was the first Seljuk mosque to be converted into a domed one. E. Turn, Adrianople, was the Ottoman capital between 1365 and 1453, when Istanbul, Constantinople, became the new capital, and it is here that we witness the final stages in the architectural development which culminated in the construction of the great mosques of Istanbul. The buildings constructed in Istanbul during the period between the Turkish conquest of the city in 1453 and the construction of the Istanbul Bayezid II Mosque are also considered works of the early period. Among these are the Fatih Mosque, 1470, Mehmet Paza Mosque, the Tiled Palace and Tropkap Palace. The Ottomans integrated mosques into the community and added soup kitchens, theological schools, hospitals. Turkish baths and tombs. During the classical period, mosque plans changed to include inner and outer courtyards. The inner courtyard and the mosque were inseparable. The master architect of the classical period, Mamar Sinan, was born in 1492 in Kayseri and died in Istanbul in the year 1588. Sinan started a new era in world architecture creating 334 buildings in various cities. Mimar Sinan's first important work was the Seyzade Mosque, completed in 1548. His second significant work was the Suleiman II Mosque and the surrounding complex, built for Suleiman the Magnificent. The Selim II Mosque in Edirne was built during the years 1568-74, when Sinan was in his prime as an architect. The Rustam Pasha Mosque. Mehrama Sultan Mosque, Ibrahim Pasha Mosque, and the Seyzaid Mosque, as well as the Derbs, Mausoleum, of Suleiman the Magnificent, Roxlana and Selim II are among Sinan's most renowned works. Most classical period designs used the Byzantine architecture of the neighboring Balkans as its base, and from there, ethnic elements were added creating a different architectural style. Examples of Ottoman architecture of the classical period, aside from Turkey, can also be seen in the Balkans, Hungary, Egypt, Tunisia and Algiers, where mosques, bridges, fountains and schools were built. Westernization period, 1703-1876 During the reign of Ahmed III, 1703-1730, and under the impetus of his Grand Vizier Ibrahim Pasa, a period of peace ensued. Due to the close relations between the Ottoman Empire and France, Ottoman architecture began to be influenced by the Baroque and Rococo styles that were popular in Europe. Interestingly, a style that was very similar to Baroque was developed by the Seljuk Turks, according to a number of academics. Examples of the creation of this art form can be witnessed in the Divragi Hospital and Mosque which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, as well as in the Shiva's Sift Minair, Konyuins Minair Museums and many other buildings from the Seljuk period in Anatolia. It is often called the Seljuk's Brook Portal. From here it emerged again in Italy, and later grew in popularity among the Turks during the Ottoman era. Various visitors and envoys were sent to European cities, especially to Paris, to experience the contemporary European customs and life. The decorative elements of the European Brook and Rococo influenced even the religious Ottoman architecture. On the other hand, Milin, a French architect, was invited by a sister of Sultan Selim III to Istanbul and depicted the Bosporus shores and the seaside waterfront mansions called Yal. During a 30-year period known as the Tulip Period, all eyes were turned to the west, and instead of monumental and classical works, Villas and pavilions were built around Istanbul. However, 
It was about this time when the construction on the Ishak Pasha Palace, 1685-1784, in eastern Anatolia was going on. Tulip period, 1703-1757. Beginning with this period, the upper class and the elites in the Ottoman Empire started to use the open and public areas frequently. The traditional, introverted manner of the society began to change. Fountains and waterside residences such as the Anul Kavakkas became popular. A water canal, other name is Satavil Isim, and a picnic area, Kagthain, were established as recreational areas. Although the tulip period ended with the Patrona Halil uprising, it became a model for attitudes of westernization. During the years 1720 to 1890, Ottoman architecture deviated from the principles of classical times. With Ahmed III's deposition, Muhammad I took the throne, 1730 to 1754. It was during this period that Baroque-style mosques were starting to be constructed. Baroque period, 1757 to 1808. Circular, wavy and curved lines are predominant in the structures of this period. Major examples are the Nuyu Osmanai Mosque, Zeynep Sultan Mosque. Leilelai Mosque, Fatih Tomb, Leilelai Sukhursism in, Burgi Sakraga Mansion, Anul Kavak Palace, and the Selimai I Barracks. Mamar Tahir, also known as Mem Tahir Aga, was the important architect of this period. Empire Period, 1808-1876. News Ratai Mosque, Ortakoi Mosque, Sultan Mahmud's Tomb, Galata Lodge of the Mevlvi Dervishes, Dolomibus Palace, Bilibi Palace, Sadullah Pasha Yal and the Kulai Barracks are the important examples of this style. Developed parallel with the westernization process, architects from the Balian family were the leading ones of the time. This period was marked by buildings of mixed neoclassical, Baroque, Rococo and Empire styles, such as the Dolmabas Palace, Dolmabas Mosque and Otakoi Mosque. Late Ottoman period, 1876-1922 Pertevniel Valide Sultan Mosque, says a fair group of buildings, Haydar Pasa School of Medicine, Duayan New Amumai Building, Istanbul Title Deed Office, Large Post Office Buildings such as the Merkez Postan, Central Post Office, in Istanbul's Circusi District, and the Harak Zidigan Apartments in Leilalai are the important structures of this period when an eclectic style was dominant. Raimondo Tomaso Doronko and Alexander Valori were the leading architects of the time. In the first years of the Republic, Turkish architecture was influenced by Ottoman architecture, in particular during the first national architectural movement. However, from the 1930s, architectural styles started to differ from traditional architecture. Also as a result of an increasing number of foreign architects being invited to work in the country, mostly from Germany and Austria. The Second World War was a period of isolation, during which the Second National Architectural Movement emerged. Similar to fascist architecture, the movement aimed to create modern but nationalistic architecture. Starting from the 1950s, isolation from the rest of the world started to diminish leading to Turkish architects being increasingly inspired by their counterparts in the rest of the world. However they were constrained by the lack of technological infrastructure or insufficient financial resources till the 1980s. Thereafter, the liberalization of the economy and the shift towards export-led growth, paved the way for the private sector to become the leading influence on architecture. Turkish film directors have won numerous prestigious awards in the recent years. Nuri Bilge Salen won the Best Director Award at the 2008 Cannes Film Festival with the film Us May Mun. This was the fourth time that Salen received an award at Cannes, following the awards for the film Uzak, which was also nominated for the Golden Palm, at the festival of 2003 and 2004, and the film Iklimla, also nominated for the Golden Palm. At the 2006 Cannes Film Festival these three films, along with the other important works of Salem such as Casabar, 1997, and Mazes KNTS, 1999, have also won awards at the other major international film festivals, including the Angers European First Film Festival, 1997 and 1999, Ankara Film Festival, 2000, and Dahlia Golden Orange Film Festival. 1999, 2002 and 2006.
Bergamo Film Meeting, 2001, Berlin Film Festival, 1998, Brothers Manarchy Film Festival, 2003, Buenos Aires International Festival of Independent Cinema, 2001, Cannes Film Festival, 2003, 2004 and 2006, Chicago Film Festival, 2003, Cinema La Film Festival, 2003, European Film Awards, 2000, Istanbul Film Festival, 1998, 2000, 2003 and 2007, Mexico City Film Festival, 2004, Montpellier Mediterranean Film Festival, 2003, San Sebastian Film Festival, 2003, Singapore Film Festival, 2001, Sofia Film Festival, 2004, Tokyo Film Festival, 1998, and the Triste Film Festival, 2004. More recently Sema Hapral Nodalu won the Golden Bear in the 60th Berlin International Film Festival with his Honey, 2010 film. The third and final installment of the Yusuf trilogy, which includes Egg and Milk. This was the second time a Turkish film wins the award. First one being Sazuz Yaz by Meet in Erksen in 1964. Turkish film director Fatih Han, who lives in Germany and has dual Turkish German citizenship, won the Golden Bear Award at the 2004 Berlin Film Festival. With the film Head on. The film won numerous other awards in many international film festivals. Fatih Han was nominated for the Golden Palm and won the Best Screenplay Award at the 2007 Cannes Film Festival as well as the Golden Orange at the 2007 Antalya Film Festival, the Lino Brocco Award at the 2007 Cinema La Film Festival, the Best Screenwriter Award at the 2007 European Film Awards, the Best Direction, Best Screenplay and Outstanding Feature Film Awards at the 2008 German Film Awards, the Best Feature Film and Best Screenplay Awards at the 2008 River Run Film Festival, the 2008 Bavarian Film Award, and the Lux Prize by the European Parliament, with the film The Edge of Heaven. Other important films of Anne, such as Kurz und Schmizlos, 1998, Imp July, 2000, Solino, 2002, and Crossing the Bridge, The Sound of Istanbul, 2005, won numerous awards. Another famous Turkish film director is Fertz Nozbatek, whose films like Hamam, 1997, Harim's Air, 1999, La Fate Ignorante, 2001, La Finestra di Franti, 2003, Hugh or Sacro, 2005, and Satin Ocantro, 2007, won him international fame and awards. The film La Finestra di Franti, 2003, was particularly successful, winning the Best Film and Scholars Jury Awards at the 2003 David Di Donatello Awards the Crystal Globe and Best Director Awards at the 2003 Carla Viveri International Film Festival, the 2003 Silver Ribbon for Best Original Story from the Italian National Syndicate of Film Journalists, the Festival Prize at the 2004 Foil Film Festival, the Audience Award at the 2004 Rehoboth Beach Independent Film Festival, and the Canvas Audience Award at the 2004 Flanders International Film Festival. The traditional Turkish national sport has been the Yaglgüz, oil wrestling, since Ottoman times. The annual international Yaglgüz, oil wrestling, tournament that's held in Krupna near Edirne is the oldest continuously running, sanctioned sporting competition in the world, having taken place every year since 1362. The most popular sport in Turkey is football. Turkey's top teams include Fenerbahçe. Galatasaray and Besiktas. In 2000, Galatasaray cemented its role as a major European club by winning the UEFA Cup and UEFA Super Cup. Two years later the Turkish national team finished third in the 2002 FIFA World Cup finals in Japan and South Korea, while in 2008 the national team reached the semi-finals of the UEFA Euro 2008 competition. Other mainstream sports such as basketball and volleyball are also popular. Turkey hosted the 2010 FIBA World Championship International Basketball Tournament and reached the final.
The men's national basketball team finished second in Eurobasket 2001, while F's Pils and SK won the Korak Cup in 1996, finished second in the Sapita Cup of 1993, and made it to the final four of Euroleg and Superleg in 2000 and 2001. Turkish basketball players have also been successful in the NBA in June 2004. Mehmet Oker won the 2004 NBA championship with the Detroit Pistons, becoming the first Turkish player to win an NBA title. Oker was selected to the Western Conference All-Star team for the 2007 NBA All-Star game, also becoming the first Turkish player to participate in this event. Another successful Turkish player in the NBA is Hedet Turkoglu who was given the NBA's Most Improved Player Award for the 2007-2008 season, on April 28, 2008. Women's volleyball teams such as Izakbaz, Vakfbank Gun Sigorta, and Fenerbahçek Badem have been the most successful by far in any team sport, winning numerous European Championship titles and medals. Motorsports have become popular recently especially following the inclusion of the Rally of Turkey to the FIA World Rally Championship calendar in 2003, and the inclusion of the Turkish Grand Prix to the Formula One racing calendar in 2005. Other important annual motorsports events which are held at the Istanbul Park racing circuit include the MotoGP Grand Prix of Turkey, the FIA World Touring Car Championship, the GP2 series and the Laman series. From time to time Istanbul and Antalya also host the Turkish leg of the F1 Powerboat Racing Championship, while the Turkish leg of the Red Bull Air Race World Series, an air racing competition, takes place above the Golden Horn in Istanbul. Surfing, snowboarding, skateboarding, paragliding, and other extreme sports are becoming more popular every year. International wrestling styles governed by feelers such as freestyle wrestling and Greco-Roman wrestling are also popular, with many European, world and Olympic championship titles won by Turkish wrestlers both individually and as a national team. Another major sport in which the Turks have been internationally successful is weightlifting, as Turkish weightlifters, both male and female have broken numerous world records and won several European, World and Olympic Championship titles. Names Suli Meniglu and Halil Matlu have achieved legendary status as one of the few weightlifters to have won three gold medals in three Olympics. Turkey hosted the 2005 Summer Universiade in Izmir and the 2011 Winter Universiade in Erzurum. Turkish cuisine inherited its Ottoman heritage which could be described as a fusion and refinement of Turkic. Kurdish, Arabic, Greek, Armenian and Persian cuisines. Turkish cuisine also influenced these cuisines and other neighboring cuisines, as well as Western European cuisines. Ottomans fused various culinary traditions of their realm with influences from Middle Eastern cuisines, along with traditional Turkic elements from Central Asia such as yogurt. The Ottoman Empire indeed created a vast array of technical specialities. It can be observed that various regions of the Ottoman Empire contain bits and pieces of the vast Ottoman dishes. Taken as a whole, Turkish cuisine is not homogenous. Aside from common Turkish specialities which can be found throughout the country, there are also region-specific specialities. The Black Sea region's cuisine, northern Turkey, is based on corn and anchovies. The southeast, Urfa. Gaziantep and Adana, is famous for its kebabs, mezes and dough-based desserts such as baklava, kadif and kinef, especially in the western parts of Turkey, where olive trees are grown abundantly, olive oil is the major type of oil used for cooking. The cuisines of the Aegean, Marmara and Mediterranean regions display basic characteristics of Mediterranean cuisine as they are rich in vegetables herbs and fish. Central Anatolia is famous for its pastry specialities such as keskak, kashkak, mant, especially of kayseri, and goslim. The name of specialities sometimes includes the name of a city or a region, either in Turkey or outside. This suggests that a dish is a speciality of that area, or may refer to the specific technique or ingredients used in that area. For example, the difference between Urfa kebab and Adana kebab is the use of garlic instead of onion and the larger amount of hot pepper that kebab contains.